Hello, hello. So it is April 26th, which means that there is exactly one month ish until Anime North, which explains why my room is a complete mess, but let's not discuss that. <laughs> Anyways, so I got the bracers done. To make these, I basically just, I, for some reason, I had the most difficulty making these. Like, I think these were one of the trickiest things I had to make for this costume. I don't know why. Basically, I just patterned it out with paper, just some scrap paper that I had. As you can see, very professional, very uh, refined. But I patterned out with this, and then I made the actual thing with craft foam, and I actually reinforced it with Bristol board. I don't know if you can see that because I'm paranoid and I like to make sure things are very sturdy. Um, so I reinforced it with that and then to make this um, detailing here actually, this was... I couldn't figure out how I wanted to do this bit so I decided to just use rope and it's just rope that I got from the dollar store. It's like a stretch rope so that way when I actually put it on it stretches with um, the rest of the bracer and it's just this rope. It was like two dollars I think and then I just covered it with like a ton of Mod Podge because it's not exactly the smoothest surface but I guess it can be smoothed with, smoothed with the Mod Podge which is good. But yes then I got this. Maybe I'll insert a clip of it actually on. Same idea, craft foam, reinforced with bristle board, and then um, the rope. And I had to leave it open because if I didn't, then I wouldn't be able to get it on and off. So I'm probably going to um, put some fabric in there to cover it so it just looks like a whole piece. And then the detailing for this, I also just did with strips of craft foam that I glued on. And aside from that, I also finished um, well, I didn't finish, but I bought the chain for, I bought the chain for the pendant because I didn't really want to make one, and I, I just wanted one that looked really, like, nice and smooth and not dodgy, so I decided to just buy one, and I got this on eBay. It was a little bit pricey. I think it was, like, nine or ten dollars. Um, but I was a little bit desperate so I didn't really want to buy, I didn't really want, like I, I just wanted something that I would get fast and that would do the job. So I got this and I actually had, it came in white and I actually had to paint it gold and I just used, um, the folk art, uh, antique gold paint which I've been using for like everything else basically. And when I actually put that on... Pendant. I think it'll look really nice. Hopefully. <laughs> it's a little bit short so I might have to extend it a bit with just some like ribbon or something. But yeah, you'll get the idea. It looks a little something 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 like that. I think it'll look nice once it all comes together. And the most exciting part of this update is I actually got the wig. I finally got my hands on it. Um, I might do another video talking more about the wig because it is like I am really impressed with the quality and I really like it and I think it's really gorgeous. Like my camera doesn't catch just how nice it is but it's super um, has a bunch of different like greens in it and stuff like that and it's very thick and very um, really really long and smooth. So I might do another video just talking about it a little bit more and where I got it. I'm going to put the links of where I got everything in the description below. So if you want to get it for yourself or for another cosplay, then you can just check that out. But I wish I could show you guys how long this is. Like, just how long it is. It's insane. Let me see if I can... Like, it goes all the way... Like, it's, in, it's insanely long. It actually reaches, um, 
past my butt, <laughs> which I think is perfect, but that still needs to be styled. I think I'm just about done the main bits and then the rest is just tiny little things that are like super easy to throw together. That's it for the update now, but hopefully I'll be coming to you a lot in the next couple weeks because I'm going to be getting a lot of things done and I'll keep you guys posted.